Shut up. This is a really serious video. Video gamers, I think it's time we took a look in the mirror because if we don't change our ways, one day we're going to wake up and there ain't going to be any video games left in this world. Now don't start laughing. This is not a laughing matter. Don't start doing any funny comments on this video. Because if we keep going this way and we keep laughing it up and don't be serious, one day we're going to wake up and video games are going to be gone as we know it. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason I'm making this video today is because the Nintendo GameCube is failing. Last year, Nintendo only sold five GameCubes. Can you believe that? Only five. And people wonder why this industry is collapsing. Nintendo GameCube. The GameCube console is a technological marvel. 250 megabytes, 700 kilohertz, purple, ash games, and when you turn it on, it's like. And you stupid motherfuckers don't buy a single goddamn one. Look at this game called The Legend of Wind Waker, only for the Nintendo GameCube. The graphics on this game are set to an unprecedented level, with graphics so good that you can even smell the water. The famous reviewer John S. gives this game a flawless 10 out of 10 score, saying, okay, so maybe it doesn't deserve a perfect score. Legend of Golfer, The Legend of Spyro, The Legend of Twilight Princess, Legends of Wrestling 2, Skies of Arcadia Legends, Tomb Raider Legend, X-Men Legends. Every game for the GameCube was legendary. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion is probably the scariest game that has ever been done. This is scientifically proven. There are over 300 ghouls on the screen right now. Now tell me, what is the only console that you can play Luigi's Mansion on? Nintendo GameCube, exactly. Without the GameCube, there is no Crash Bandicoot. There is no Madden. John Madden was filing for bankruptcy before the whole situation with the, um... You know, NBA Street is on the GameCube, which is a phenomenal game. Without NBA Street, you don't get Michael Jordan. You don't get LeBron James from Multiverses. Turn that off. There were no M-rated games for GameCube. Now, look at Pikmin. This is a famous game. People forget that GameCube had games like Zapper. It had games like Sims 2 Pets. Uh, Burnout 2, man. Remember when that game turned out? It went, whoa, 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 whoa. Remember? And this shit. Nintendo's GameCube system is about it's to hit the word, stores. Jackass, it's just GameCube. GameCube. Not Game Cube. GameCube. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was Zoo Cube that killed this console. And Scaler. For my money, I think the real reason GameCube is starting to fall behind is because it's just an older console at this point, and Nintendo has moved on to the Nintendo Switch. 